His embarrassing commentary takes place exclusively on YouTube or in-person events for science illiterate Christians who share his biases and delusions. Jim's clueless ramblings do not even remotely resemble primary scientific literature. It's idiotic. We will get to James fumbling the science in a moment, but first it is important to establish that James is a brazen liar. Uh, this is the dumbest straw man in history. Well, he reveals a level of incompetence that is shocking for someone of his stature. In his profound ignorance, he can't even read a 13C NMR spectrum, something he should have learned as an undergrad. The idea that James can't do something that an undergrad could do is astounding, and whether his brain ceases to function when examining this research, or he is deliberately lying to a gullible audience with no clue what he's talking about, his credibility is reduced to zero with this example alone. He is a toxic individual and pathological liar who actively promotes science denial and slanders diligent researchers. He made that up uh, like a liar. Uh, this hurt James so badly that his viewers can't read, so they just ate up the fabricated story. <laughs> Pretty dumb lie. Pretty dumb lie to tell. I think we can all agree that we are establishing the pathological nature of his lying. <laughs> well, then you're blind. And now he says, I can't even make the yeah, RNA. Who cares? who cares? You lied about this. Look, my God. It's not there. It's not Let's there. See. You are literally pulling this out of your ass. This has been done for decades. You guys, none of you people know this research. Wow. Lies and cheers. Amazing. Lies and cheers. It's a uh, replication. I'm not sure exactly in the context of the paper, but he's saying that two prime linkages don't matter. As though you people have any fucking clue what any of us are talking about. Oh. I know about RNA. No, you don't. You have no clue what either of us are saying. Deal with it. Answer the question. Answer the question. Uh, yeah, that's why I brought a bunch of research James pretends isn't real, and you're all pretending to understand right now. Again, James has humiliated himself even tonight, claiming peptides can't form in water. Did you James, have, you, you have a, you're, you're flailing you asked here. me one specific... I don't care what any of you guys are saying. None of you, none of you have any capacity to read this literature, and you're just blindly believing okay, James. You have no idea what he's talking close. about. Okay, James. So check it out. You're 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 completely unhinged and wrong about everything we said about polypeptides and polynucleotides. Enzymes did it, just like they do today. Can you wrap your head around that, James? Universe in 14 billion years. Wow, big numbers, big numbers, yeah, guys. Yeah, big numbers. Remember okay, the billions of compounds? Okay, and the you, want, you want me to you can't read because problem? you're a buffoon? Here's four. This is pathetic. No, no. The, You're let, covering let, for the fact well, that you let, can't let read a 13C NMR spectrum. Here game. he gives his half-life. He gives the half-life of you. I've given it to you. Yeah, this is my two minutes, James. Keep quiet. So what you she remember shows when you couldn't no, read what this she, paper? What it was she really shows funny. in her own paper, she shows two methods, a kinetic method and, and Here, take the chalk. Write it for us. Any, anywhere you take want. Take the chalk. Write it for us. Tell us. Don't show me research. Take the chalk. Please, take the chalk. Me. Your prompts are all just clueless because I say so. No, we so. don't clueless have a lot of time, so. so it really is going to... Uh, question. You in, people in your are last, idiots. In your latest video... What is one thing that they admire about each other's scientific <laughs> career? Let me start. This man has said multiple times that I have called him stupid. I have never called him stupid because I don't think he's stupid. I have said he's clueless on this topic. I have said he cannot read the scientific literature. That doesn't mean stupid. This man has become a musician, and then he went out, and in 2015, he started an educational site, which is huge. The stupid people can't do that. I admire him. This is, this is an educational site, and I have never called him stupid because he's not stupid. He's not stupid. So I admire him for his educational site, and he, from what I understand, I'm not a musician. From what I understand, what people said, he's an excellent musician. I admire him for that as well. His, his wife is here. He's a father. He has two children. I admire that, that a man can have a wife and two children and stay married and do these things these days. That is wonderful. <laughs> that is wonderful. I admire that. I admire the tenacity with which you stick to a script of lies. It's actually quite impressive. Oh.